Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Terra. I hope everyone is well. Everybody just take a breath. I have nothing better to do today than read cards until about one o'clock when I gotta get ready to go to the bread and butter job. So I'm gonna knock out as many as I can today and try to finish this cycle out. I apologize for the delay. <sighs> life happens and life seems to happen to me quite frequently. Enough about me. The reading cards for Scorpio today. All right. This reading will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October 2020. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to me the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay. Check your other placements. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better, just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, so the events that will be spoken of may have already played out, may be in the process of playing out, or may play out within the month of October. I just ask questions of the universe. The cards tell the story. And sometimes the universe doesn't give an, an exact timetable. You know. Some events may play out later than October. I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't there. It's not my story. Okay. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot table. And just a reminder. Do not take with you what does not resonate with you. Leave it behind. And we're here to have fun and play cards. So. All right, I'm going to set these back here so they don't get mixed in with this deck. Okay. Hmm. Scorpio, why are you here? Chariot in the reverse. Could be a cancer you're dealing with. You could be disconnecting from a cancer. Could be being pulled in two different directions. Could be a return involved for some of you. Could be closing a gap in emotional or physical distance. It's open-ended. We might throw a clarifier on it. We'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Justice. Card of Libra. If it's setting off alarms, okay. If it's not, it's not. You feel like the playing field's level. You feel like things are equal. They may not have always been, though. Justice can show up when things haven't always been so equal or so fair. The playing field hasn't always been so level. So, what do you think of the person you're dealing with? The sun. They may bring sunshine into your life. This could be possibly your world kind of revolves around them. They are the sun. It's a powerful soulmate connection right there. Hmm. What do you want from them? Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Hmm. You could want them to stop putting work into something else. How do they feel about you? Page of Wands. You're a person of action. Wands can indicate a little something something. Sugar and spice and all things nice. Know what I'm saying? Not the most mature card. I'm just throwing that out there. This is why we clarify, guys. I 
I'm catching a sense that they feel like that's all you want to talk about is that little something something. What do they think of you? Five of Wands. Scorpio, they think you're... There's always a fight. There's always a battle. There's always confrontation. Could be. Hmm. <laughs> Every time we talk, we always end up arguing. Okay. What do they want from you? The Ace of Swords in the reverse. Say, oh, wow. Oh, wow. They just do not talk. Holy Moses, what happened? What happened, Scorpio? Okay, what is the obstacle in this connection three of cups reversed? There's been a disconnect. Could have been a third party situation. Uh, there isn't a second three on the table yet. I don't want to call that out too soon, but that was the first thing that popped into my head. Mm. Possible resolution. Seven of Pentacles. Patience. We must have patience. Divine timing. Waiting for things to fruit. Seeing what's going to grow. I'm going to leave that to the end. I didn't see it. We're not flipping that yet. Let's get some clarity. First reading of the morning. You're giving me a workout, Scorpio. All right, Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 2020? Mm. King of Swords. Huh. The King of Swords revealed itself to me. We'll see if it comes back out. Mm -hmm. The King of Swords makes honest head over heart decisions, logical decisions. Really doesn't make decisions based on any kind of emotion. Kind of be a cold, calculated son of a gun at times. Huh, okay. Do you want to talk? You're acting like you want to talk. Seven of Pentacles reversed. On top of the chariot reversed. <sighs> oh. I think I may have miscalled that chariot. That, that chariot done went to a dead stop. Somebody lost patience with this. Hmm. Okay. Why is justice here? Lovers reversed. Hmm. Hmm. Connection was unequal. Somebody was feeling it more than the other.
Hmm. That playing field wasn't level. I think something came in to level it or something left to level it. I'm not going to beat that card like a dead horse. Why is the sun here? chapter has closed for a new chapter to begin. Scorpio, they were your son. The world possibly revolved around them for a minute. Or you think that their world revolved around you take it however it resonates. Wow. Huh. One more on that. Four of Wands reversed comes out. The Minor Arcana Tower. This wasn't st steady. This wasn't stable. And something tells me you saw it coming. You saw it coming for a while. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed here for what Scorpio wants? Oh. Four of Swords. Stop putting work into it. Just want to lay it to rest. Not dumping any more energy into this. Laying it to rest. Not beating that card to death either. Why is the Page of Wands here for what the other person feels about Scorpio? Welcome to the party. Seven of Wands. God, a lot of wands. Internal struggles. Always having to be in charge. One more. Oh, three. Two of Cups, Knight of Cups, and the Fool. Oh, wow. <laughs> immature, immature, immature. <laughs> they feel the connection with you. They do. But it was always about that one thing. Came in very quickly with a sweet little cup. And it was beautiful. And it was wonderful. And with this fool card, I think you guys jumped into this. Like, face first. <laughs> Could have been a fire sign you were dealing with. Yeah, more fire. Possibly with some water in there somewhere. But...
there was a serious leap of faith that happened here. Happened very, very quickly. Why is the Five of Wands here? Two of Wands reversed, Three of Wands reversed, Five of Wands, more Wands, wow. Wow. Okay, so... Dang. Always a fight, always a confrontation. Holding on to something from the past, not able to move forward for the future, and they stopped waiting. Another reversed three, by the way. It didn't show up over here, but it showed up. I think you both saw that tower coming. They may have been the one that got a little bit impatient with you. Because they've stopped waiting. Because it was always a fight. It was always an argument. Hmm. Ace of Swords. They just seem not deal with it. Why is this Ace of Swords reversed here? Scorpio is seeming to me like it was just one of those things. Tower. Power falls out in the upright. They don't want to talk. They don't want to deal. They just soon let the tower fall. <sighs> Which is fine because you just want to lay this to rest and not put any work into it either. So, okay. I'm going to throw the one on this Three of Cups reversed, please. Three of Swords in the upright. The conflict here is potential for a third party situation and heartbreak. three threes. One of them is in the upright, though. Someone could be dealing with a past heartbreak. That's why there was hesitation. That's why it was unstable. Someone's not letting go of crap from the past. I'm not beating that card to death either. Yeah, I am. I'm going to throw one more on it. What the hell? Why not? reversed. Not wanting to dump any more energy into it. Just not wanting to work on it. That's the obstacle. Neither one of you want to work on it. Okay. You just assume disconnect. Okay. Well, if you're both in mutual agreement, why am I here? Just kidding. <laughs> At least you're both on the same page. I mean, that's okay. So, why is the Seven of Pentacles here for the resolution? Possible resolution. Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Five 
five of wands. The one more confrontation battle. Feeding each other to dragons. I mean, you know. Nine of Pentacles reversed, Six of Wands reversed. Oh, gosh. So the potential resolution is something that I don't think either one of you want to do. The Nine of Pentacles reversed, Six of Wands reversed. It, it's the returning with your tail between your legs. Even if it means that, that last confrontation, that last, that last throwdown. But biding your time and waiting for it, not rushing in to do it. All right, what is the potential outcome? Two of Wands reversed, staying stuck. Huh. Scorpio. What? Ha 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 ha. I love it when she pops out at the last minute. Knight of Pentacles. I think y'all are going to stay stuck at this crossroads because it, it's very obvious to me just by how well you are mirroring each other right now that you are all energetically up in each other's crap. This is still very much on both of your minds. So until you have the last throwdown, the last confrontation... There can't be any kind of closure. Ten of Cups reversed. Two of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Pentacles in the upright. High Priestess. You're going to stay energetically braided, if you will, until you resolve this. That doesn't necessarily mean you got to put work into it. There's a lot of wands on this table right now. I'm sensing a lot of anger. Hmm, Scorpio. Somebody's got to cave in here. Somebody's got to cave in here and extend that olive branch. Don't know who does. Somebody's got to throw out that little bit of communication. Pick up the phone and text. Pick up the phone and call. I'm sorry. I'm 
That does explain why the Seven of Pentacles is there, doesn't it? Can we talk this out? Huh. Well, it's all, what, up to y'all what y'all do with it. I think decisions were... What am I doing? I don't want that card. I want this card. Made very hastily. Oh my. Four of Cups in the reverse and the Tower in the reverse. So as long as y'all continue to ignore cups that you're trying to hand each other, you can't rebuild the tower. Okay. Hmm. Strength in the reverse, star in the upright. Wow. That strength card, it can talks about two things. It can talk about mistrust in the reverse, and it can talk about being energetically or emotionally drained in the reverse. But you definitely need to heal from this. I think you both do. Whatever this was, could have been a third party situation, could have been someone just being impatient, could have been a series of events and things because towers don't just happen. They don't. They don't. Earthquakes, you feel the rumbles for days before the big earthquake finally comes. The storm clouds have to form as they're approaching you before lightning strikes or the tornado breaks out. They don't just come. So whatever this is, I think you need to both heal from it before you reapproach it. So, whatever timetable that looks like for you. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. Okay, Scorpio, this has been your reading for the month of October. Let me know what happens. I'm going to close out. The goal is to finish up the cycle today and next Tuesday. start the October special in honor of Mercury Retrograde and Halloween. So we'll see what happens. Talk soon. Namaste, friends.